Well, continuing our look at the top European events, we move over to Madeira, lovely island. Round 31 of the European Rally Championship, the Portuguese island. Lots of sunshine and a great favourite for the competitors, of course. 930 kilometres. Very hilly. Lots of ups and downs. Let's have a look at some of the main competitors, of course. That's Liati leading the European Championships. Fabio Arretti, a young Italian. Tabaton is back in this event. John Bosch, 27 year old. There's Drogmans, the reigning European champion. 118 starters. And the 32nd running of the Rally Vigno Madera. For the race, the event, we had a chat with Patrick Snyers. At this and he's uh, telling us that it's quite a long course and lots of hills. There are in fact 30 special stages here, totaling 328 kilometers. Here's John Bosch playing the full. <laughs> Well, he's well placed in the championship at the moment. And uh, he was fifth overall, and he must be pleased with that. This is officially his last round. And we asked him whether he thought he could move up the standings, and his answer has to be, of course, he thinks he can. And he's going to have a good crack at it. So, there's Tabaton. Third in the European Championship standings at the moment. There's Drogmans, we showed you him earlier. And he's only done one rally this year, and they actually, the organizers of this event, paid for him to get a drive here, and Drogmans was very, very pleased with that. First special stage, who else? Tabaton, blinding going for it. Well, the first, fastest man, Snyers on the first special stage. And uh, Liati with Luciano Terechini as his co driver. Now, the number six, uh, Fabio Aletti in his Lancia. He had problems after two and a half kilometers, he was out of it. This is Carlos Bica, one of the Spanish. He was driving a Lancia last year. There goes Boss. Fifth fastest on that first special stage. Needs to do a bit better than that, I think. Ferreras. So, Snyers and Colobandas screaming through these sections. And very, very fast indeed. Tabaton, up and down. Beautiful weather, look. And some great, only four seconds between those two. There goes Bosch. Fourth entry in this uh, Vino Madeira rally. He's been able to go around and check out all the special stages. It's changed a bit since last year, actually. There's a lot of tarmac, uh, new tarmac on some of the special stages. There were a lot of dirt and rocks in the 1990 Vino Madeira. And that's a great advantage for people like Bosch with just two wheel drive, of course. Druchman's going well. He's third overall, is Druchman's. He blew up his engine, unfortunately, and Drogman was out of it. So Tabaton now is the new leader, climbing up through the mountain scenery. Liati is in second spot. Cobbled up through there, and a lot of different surfaces here. And uh, a lot of the guys having problems with tyres here. The Portuguese... Uh, team of Santos. He blows up his engine, he's out of it. Vika Amprata in the Lancia. He's fourth overall. And fifth at the moment is John Bosch. Not managing to make up for any time at the moment, but just maintaining his equilibrium.
So we move on, having a look at uh, the boys working on Liati's Integrali, having a bit of a service here. Currently second in this rally, leading the European Championship. So, there was a fault in the road book. I don't know whether you saw this on the go. This was a special stage where there was a fault in the road book and Liati was actually six minutes down on this stage because of a problem with the road book. And he, obviously, I mean, you expect an, an Italian to blow his temper like this. And he's saying, look, it should go left instead of right. And... Snyers also with a problem. It's four and a half minutes late to the regroup. And look, Bosch takes it easy. And he's amazed that uh, Snyers is right in front of him like that because they had no idea that they'd had the problems because, of course, Bosch had been able to check it all out. OK, the leader, Tabaton Imerito. Great weather. And the gap, five and a half minutes ahead of Liati. And that's a pretty comfortable buffer on this day. Had some problems with his engine, Liati, and couldn't find the service vehicle. John Bosch actually gave him some oil in the end, helped him out, otherwise Liati would have been out of it. Patrick Snyers there. Unfortunately, he hit a rock on one of the special stages. Uh, lost all the oil out of his engine, and Snyers was out of the event. Pika had a problem on this day as well. He lost, uh, had a problem with the gearbox, and that meant that John Bosch moved himself up into third place. So, he, no way was he going to catch Liati. Because Liati, in his Integrale, has a more than 100 brake horsepower more than Bosch and Gormley. Leader in the Group N, look. Ferreros, he's fourth overall actually, and that's good to good position for Group N. Fifth overall, Campos and Caldera in their GTI 16 valve, Portuguese entry. Brilliant to have fifth overall. No one could stop. Tabaton, Fabrizio Tabaton, had a six minute buffer ahead of that man, Liati. And Tabaton gets into second overall ahead of Patrick Snyers in the European Championship. Bosch put in some fuel, changed his tyres, did all his groundwork well, and he ended up with a good third, and that leaves him fourth overall. Let's have a look at the official results. And just off that listing there, Abel and Ferreira, the two Italians in a Cosworth were seventh. There were six, sorry. Ruffo and Puzzolo were seventh. So let's have a look at the standings overall. And Bruno Thierry is in sixth. Mark Soule is seventh. Joachim is in ninth. 